Let's now turn our attention to the Niger Delta region, where the people of Ijo extraction across the globe have celebrated the life and times of a nationalist, soldier and freedom fighter, Isaac Boro in Bielsa State. It's an event to mark the 55th anniversary of his passing. They record his significant contributions to the Niger Delta region and how he championed a better living condition for the people. Joseph Kunde tells us more, and after this report, we will bring you update in business. Stay with us. Before Chuku and Mika Ojuku declared the Republic of Biafra in May 1967, Isaac Adakaburu declared the Niger Delta Republic in February 1966. Born on the 18th of September 1938 in Eloibri, Bielsa State, a rights activist frowned at environmental pollution and underdevelopment in the region. Boro had formed the Niger Delta Volunteer Force, an armed militia, but came up short in the infamous battle against the Nigerian forces for 12 days, one popularly known as the 12th Day Revolution. They were roundly defeated and then jailed for treason. He was pardoned alongside others who took up arms against the federal government and later got enlisted into the Nigerian army in 1967 to fight in the civil war but died mysteriously in 1968 in Ogu, Ogubolo local government area of River State. The just struggle continues. The issue of our environmental degradation, the issue of resource control still remain issues that have not been concluded. While I want to use this opportunity to thank the founding fathers of Bayelsa State and the elders, we are still not having 50% of our resources. He died at the age of 30. And that's why I tell people, it's not how much and how long you live, but what is the impact you live. Boro fought for self-determination. He fought against exploitation. The struggle has to continue, utilizing national and international protocols in actualizing our dreams for self-actualization. 55 years later, Isaac Boro is still remembered not just as a Niger Deltan, but as a patriotic Nigerian and has become a source of inspiration to many others over the years. Boro's 12 day revolution was in line with our quest to have control over our resources. What we, the Joint Council, fought for was a minimum of 5%. What the Nigerian state gave us is 3%. And that 3% must not be tampered with. We want this message to sink to the marrows, including the pipes that carry the crude oil. Today is a sober reflection for us. As long as governance, political players continue to oppress, to continue to marginalize the minority in Nigeria, there is small hope that this cause of independence of the Niger Delta is still alive. The creation of River State and Bayaza State is a direct product of the martyrdom of the late Major Jasper Adakaburu. It creates an historic significance for the John Nation and its it, and it development. We therefore use this medium to humbly appreciate the sacrifices of the ever conscious Ajo youth who have paid the supreme price for this liberation struggle. Let me at this point commend governors of the Braised Commission states for their efforts toward advancing the development trajectory of the region, even though more is expected by the people. Eyes up. Yeah. In his local government area, some youths paid him their respects in his ancestral home of Kayama, while others went to Gubolo, where he was seen last. We are here to venerate the spirit of a living legend, late Major Isaac Jasper Adakaburu. And I am happy that since he inspired us, other boroughs have also taken the paths that is bringing about the needed developments in the Niger Delta, even though we are not where we ought to be. Isaac Boro died for everybody. Yes. So we are really grateful to Amagbe. God has raised him to have, to grant favor to that name. That may that grace follow him. Processions, laying of the wreath, and immortalizing the late icon over the years had formed part of his remembrance. Five decades after, the Niger Delta is still plagued with the challenges of environmental pollution and underdevelopment. But the Ijaws have since taken a different approach, which is the intellectual one in solving the problems of the region. Joseph Kunde, TVC News, Yanagua.